The unthinkable has happened. Orion is dead. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. Orion was a few seconds ago killed by a spider, and it seems odd that Orion, being such a brave fighter, taking on packs of mobs at a time, was killed by one spider. But there's something weird about this particular spider. It was not normal. It was super fast, had, like, amazing agility, and here's the weirdest part. It ran away. Spiders don't do that, do they? But anyway, I think I saw it going down this tunnel, so I'm gonna chase after it. For Orion, you stupid spidery whatever you are. Ah, I am going to kill you. Yes, I can hear it already. Whoa, what the? Ah! Uh... What? What the? Okay, that is not normal. And what the fool? I'm at my original spawn spot again? Oh man, this sucks. So, um, but that spider was really weird. I mean, I thought it was fast the first time, but this is, like, not normal. There's something up with the spider. May Wait. I think I might know who this spider is. I think this spider is, um, someone, um, I mean, something. It's actually been a legend throughout the animals, the mobs in my area. This particular spider, um, oh, what's its name? Um, Iapetus. Iapetus, yes, and, um, man, I'm getting shot. Well, there's a lot of skeletons and a, and a witch. I wish Orion were here. He really could have dealt with this. Oh, man, this sucks. I'm just gonna go into this cave. It's a miracle I've survived this long. So, yeah. That spider that we just saw, his name is Iapetus. And he's a legend among most of the animals of my world. Um, I've heard a lot of them talking about it. Translated by Kabuminator, of course. And Hades and Persephone were talking about him on their date. Basically, he's a spider... A rogue spider, that means he doesn't follow King Ender's rules. He was part of King Ender's army of mobs, but then he left and was like, Hey, I'm not following your rules anymore. And now he's really deadly, kills everything he sees. And the mobs were so afraid of him that um, they made a movie about him, Spider the Movie Part 1. And he's like the spider from the movie. He can't really blow things up with his mind or set things on fire like he could in the movie. But he is fast, tough, and deadly. You shouldn't mess with him. And I'm pretty sure it's Iapetus that we just saw there. So I'm just going to cut this out until I get back to my plateau. Okay, got my stuff back. So, did he go this way by any chance? Uh, I don't think... Wait. I think this is the spot where Ares died. Hmm, two dogs with dying within ten blocks? That's a coincidence. But, um, I gotta find this guy. Because this guy, I am not going to put up with his dog murdering. Even though it wasn't him, Iapetus, who murdered Ares. I know, great skeleton. I don't want you. Get away. Die. Okay. Good. The skeleton's dead. Wait. Cobwebs. Haha. -ha. I think Iapetus has been this way. And uh, no, I don't want rotten flesh. Wait. Rotten flesh. Yes, zombies don't just die on their own in the middle of an enclosed cave. Iapetus must have killed it, because Iapetus doesn't follow King Ender's rules. Iapetus is not on the side of the zombies. Whoa, this place is scary. Uh, I'm going to try to get down, look for more clues. Um, okay, careful. Oh, almost fell down there. Very carefully. Wait. I think I just heard Iapetus. Let's be very careful. And carefully go around the very careful way. C 
because I don't want to lose my battle axe and dodge super pickaxe and all the ores I've been collecting. I am not going to fail. And if I do, I'm going to be sent back to my original spawn spot, and I pays will have escaped by then, like, definitely. So, too bad I didn't bring a shovel. I didn't bring that much on this mining trip, which is good, because I would have lost it all if I died. I mean, when I died. So let's go around this way, just to be on the safe side. Okay, carefully jump down. Oh, oh my tweezers. I literally almost... Oh, well, that's why I was trying to place iron ingots down. I thought I was holding cobblestone. I literally almost just, like, walked straight into the lava. That would have really sucked. And... I'm just gonna make a little path around here. And Iapetus is probably, like, running as we speak, running away. So I have to be quick and careful at the same time. If you look very carefully at lava, those black dots almost look like water droplets. And I'm, like, closer to lava than I've ever been before. Like, literally, almost brushing it with my feet. If you were clo this close to lava in real life, you'd be burned by now. Like, you're just, the heat would burn you, and... Wait, is that a dog over there? What? Um... Okay, I'm out of cobblestone. I'll use dirt now. I think I see a wolf over there. Um, is that Athena? Looks like her. And let's go over there. Uh, I'm gonna just, yeah, I hear the barking now. Definitely a dog and oh. My tweezers, almost. Oh look, I have a stack of stone. I, I left this smelting a while ago. Should have used this first. And so let's carefully go this way... What? Ah! Oh! Is that Iopatus? Yes! He burned! Yay! He's dead! For Orion, and... Th Did you throw him in the lava, Miss, um, Athena? Is that you? Then... Who are you? No, I don't know it. Wait. You're my dog? Yeah, oh, wait, um, you're the, uh, the one that I tamed, uh, yes, you're Hestia. Um, yeah, so why are you here? Look, it's just that Orion was, like, the fighter. Uh... Okay. I guess I'll see you there, Hestia. So, um, she says she recruited people for the rebels. Um, I hope she didn't, like, give away the secret... The rebels are like a semi-secret group, so I'm just gonna go back. Maybe I'm gonna go to back to the plateau because that's the new rebel base. Armulus, the leader of the rebels, took it over recently. He was like, "Hey, this is my place now." He tricked me into going on a vacation, and then he just kind of took it. Um, but some people are like that. I have to deal with that. And I'm just gonna climb up. I hear some zombies, I'm gonna fight them off with my battle axe, and I repaired it recently. So, it's good as new, and even stronger than new. So, I believe the exit is this way. So, let's just go. Um, I hear a ton of zombies now. I don't want to get involved with them, because I don't like zombies. Actually, I think the exit's this way. Um, because... There's a spot where Ares died over here, and I know how to get out of here from there. Basically, you dig up, but not straight up. That's breaking, like, the number one rule of Minecraft. So, um, yeah, here we go. And, um, let's get up this way, I believe. Yeah, it's all coming back now. From when I went mining with Kaboominator a while ago. Well, a really long time ago. Almost a hundred episodes ago. 
Wait, since this is episode 189, 97 episodes ago, I went mining here with the Kaboominator and Ares died. Feels like just yesterday. But no, it was 97 episodes ago. So, okay, now I'm lost. Come on, where do I go? I think I go out here. I just heard a snake. Maybe that's Armulus. <laughs> I don't know. And, um... There's somewhere to go from here. So this place looks really familiar. Because there's a cracking table here. That... I don't know... Oh, yes! Stairs. Good. And I'm gonna put down torches. Just so I can see where the snaz were going. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. Gonna have to deal with the... Oh, great, I hear a spider. I've had enough spiders for a century. I'm just gonna cut this out until I get safely into the plateau. Okay, I'm in, and... Oh, hi, who are you? And... Oh, Hestia beat me there. So, um... Where's the check-in sheep? A Dilophosaurus has learned how to use chests. I don't care! Um, the check-in sheep, his name is Maxima, I believe. Yeah, there you are, Maxima. We got a new rebel joining us. Uh, some food in here. At least they didn't touch my kitchen. Uh, but Maxima, you might want to check in on um, Hestia. She just joined. Um, there's something like cool about having your own house become a rebel base. Actually, what? They call this the mess hall now. What other signs they put up around the plateau? And whatever your name is, get Maxima over here. Eh. Actually, Maxima is a boy, and Maxima sounds like a girl's name, but he is. Uh, this is the lavatory. Uh, they didn't change that good. I think all they really did was put signs everywhere. This is extra space? How could they call that this? This is... Oh, wait, you're Apollo. Your daughter came back. I'm remembering now. Hestia is Apollo's daughter. This is the archaeology lab, one of the most important places in the plateau. What? How can they say that? These are quarters... Oh, uh, this looks like the bunny room. Maybe someone's staying there, and I hear some voices of animals that way. That that at least makes sense. This is the armory, which, no big surprise there. And, um, so yeah. I'm, like, relearning my way around here based on the new map. Can I eat oats? Oh, yeah, you can. So, um, Hestia. You, have to, you said you recruited someone, Hestia? Who exactly did you recruit?